So this little boy has a huge dilemma. His mother just passed away. And now the question is, who will raise the little boy? See, the studies say if he's a minority, there's over a 50% chance that his father is nowhere to be found. So that leaves grandma, auntie, uncle, or in a lot of cases, he would have to go into foster care. See, I was one of the lucky ones, cause that little boy was me. But my father didn't hesitate to man up and accept his responsibility. And for that, I definitely salute him. But the studies say that for those that look like me, and even for over 25% of those that don't, there is no daddy. And thus that leaves a huge void in the lives of so many people. So every year when Father's Day rolls around, this opens up painful wounds and painful scars for so many. Lock in with me. Because over the years, I've learned that the power of forgiveness is liberating and can transform anger and hurt into healing and peace. Forgiveness can help you overcome feelings of depression, anxiety, and rage, as well as personal and relational conflicts. But it's all about you making a conscious decision to forgive. Now, I'm not saying you have to have this phenomenal relationship with your biological father or any relationship at all for that matter. But I am saying that in most cases, for you to open up opportunities for growth, it will require you to internally forgive him. Now, whether you decide to reach out to him or not, that's totally your decision. I'm just planting the seed and that's all up to you. And to those real men that are actually doing the right thing by their children, I salute you. And I say, hey, continue to be the rock and continue to be the front and the back for your kids and your household. So you're the front because you're providing that incredible leadership and direction and they are following your lead. But you also got to be the back because sometimes they need that extra push, that extra boost to go to that next level and that firm, loving hand that great fathers provide. For those men slash boys, you know who you are. I challenge you to get your stuff together. I challenge you to accept responsibility because your absence is leaving a huge void in your child's life and that's very difficult to overcome. So you think it's all about you, but it's not about you, it's about them. So I need you to man up, stop running, get your stuff together and do the right thing by your children. And in closing, for those of you that have those irreconcilable differences with your biological father, and you're not in a place, not in a middle space quite yet to forgive him, I implore you to not let the pain and the, the scars associated with your father be the reason you don't go to the next level. Don't allow them to be the reason that you don't achieve. And please don't allow them to be the reason why you don't become the best version of yourself.